What's going on folks? Welcome back to Block Party. Right now we're staring at the backside of a AVR receiver. We've got the Denon AVR 2000. Just wanted to do uh, a kind of like full on test so you can see it working. I've only got 2.1 channels. We've got a Poke Audio powered subwoofer over here. PSW 10. Also going to be in our eBay store. Probably local pickup on a lot of the stuff because it is heavy let me tell you i've got these connected to two energy speakers also in our store as well these babies are beautiful 100 watts uh eight ohm speakers super nice great as surround sound or if you got a small space you can do bookshelf nice little nice little tiny one inch woofer with a tweeter right there you've got um they put out some really crystal clear sound Pair that up with like a nice, this nice poke. You're good to go. Put this in a game room, whatever. So I just wanted to run down the Denon. The Denon's an AVR 2000. It's an older model. It doesn't have digital uh, inputs or outputs. It doesn't have any optical outputs. It is just a straight up, if you want to watch, if you want to have like a record player or CD or just like a video disc player, if you've got one of those laying around. Um, it's got all the, the, the connections for that. What we have here in this stack here is a Denon AVR made in Japan, a Marantz uh, DVD 810 also made in Japan, and a Pioneer uh, PD V10G. That's a it's like a it's like a video karaoke machine. It has a it's a dual disc player also made in Japan. So we've got some Japanese stuff going on here. TV is not included. Uh, let me show you the back side of this. It's got a lot of wires. It's it's a mess. But basically what we've got connected up is the CD here. And then we've got the, the VDP DVS that's connected to our DVD player. So we've got those video connections there. And then we've got the monitor out that goes to our TV. We've got a mono connection running to our subwoofer here. And then we've got the two speakers right here on these big nice beefy jack so we're not running any s video here uh we can if you'd like later uh if you shoot me a message if you're interested in the s video option i can do that i actually don't think i have any s video cables here i just usually run the usually just run the audios um here is our dvd player this is the marantz dvd 810 so there's the back side of that and then there's also the um this is the pioneer uh, player here so it's got a video out it's got a mono audio out as well and uh, a couple other things here we've got it connected just with the audio so you can hear cd with that that's going and then we've got this with the tv that's the monitor connection so um let's pull this down here i gotta flip this all around hopefully don't knock over my phone in the same thing i hope i have enough room for my uh, subwoofer so here's the subwoofer right here this has got uh, low line high line uh, in here so you can do right left speakers um, yeah you can do that on this um, it's got a uh, volume now we got this turned down uh, you can set the you, you set the low pass filter here so you can set that up to 160 mega uh, Hertz and then you've got your auto and your phase. So depending on if your speakers are in phase or if you need to change that out there, you can do that as well. So um, let's put this, I'm actually gonna put this over here and we're gonna flip this around. Hopefully my cables are long enough. I'm really worried about the, let's pull this up over real quick. That's the one that worries me the most because it's not that long of a cable. Um, let's this is going to be fun. Let's put these on one side. speaker cables that are just all wrapped up here. These are this side. Let's pull this quick. That's always good. 
Oh well. Alright, so just put this up here. This right here. Nah, I'm not gonna bother with that. Here we go now, where are we at? Here we go. We got a nice cable salad over here with the speaker. We don't really have the space to do this here at this house. Maybe one day we'll have a garage. I'm selling enough stuff on eBay. Alright, so. Pull this back around here so you can see what's going on on the front. So, here's our Denon in the bottom. AVR 2000. There's our Marantz on the se second one up is the Marantz. And then the third one is the Pioneer. So, let's see here if we can kind of get all this in here. And the TV's above that. So we'll focus on the TV here in a second. Let's get this thing on. Make the volume up a little bit on this. And this is all movies, so let's get the movie up. Power on the Marantz. So that should be on right now. DVD. There we go. So you're going to need a remote with the Marantz. So... something a little more humble. Megamind! Incredibly handsome master of all villainy. Woo! This November. All right, put your hands in the air. Yeah! So just changing different modes. So we can change the video functions over here. As you can see, that changes that. You're gonna probably need one a remote with this. Don't panic, Rossi. I'm on my way. Oh, custom baby seat. Oh, Rossi, Tina Fey. So the subwoofer is not come on, but I think that needs to probably be configured. Dingo watches a human baby. And Brad Pitt. That's right. Your plans, you're so. Yeah, if you hold it down, you can get different <laughs> modes. So scary. Phantom wide, normal. Pro logic. So we don't have a center channel set up, so you can see the, the changes in sound there. So, um, I don't quite know how to do the subwoofer on this. Because I know the subwoofer works. 
There's definitely some, some like bass coming out of this. So we got the subwoofer now firing. Um, that's the front of it. Probably put that up on marketplace for about fifty bucks. Uh, then it's not you know something crazy. Maybe a hundred on eBay, but local pickup most likely with something like this. <laughs> Master volume, it's not up that high. No, it's It's not really on a stable surface, that's why it's probably sitting on top of this bit. Let's jump over to the audio side of things. So Turn this down. Get a little music going in here. All right. When it all started, he was there to bring you the best beats from all over the world. about this is that you can change the pitch the key control on this so you can change the pitch on this Pioneer PD10G We got both components working. We've got two channels on the audio. We've shown that the subwoofer is working great. We've seen how it works in widescreen with the with the AVR 2000. If you guys have any more questions, shoot me a message on eBay. I have a link to each of the each of the listings, and uh, you can check them out for yourselves. We're waiting for the remote for the Marantz to come in, and then that'll go up too as well. Marantz makes great stuff, so uh, if you need this for like a parent or for someone else that just has DVDs, that just wants to watch DVDs, this is a great option, single DVD player. Um, this is the DVD 810 by Marantz, the Denon AVR 2000, and the Pioneer PD V10G. And uh, thanks for watching, I'm sorry the video is so long, but I wanted to make sure you guys saw the rundown of how everything works, and how it's all working out together. Thanks for watching, Block Party, you can, uh, Comment, subscribe, do all the great stuff. Peace.